To add products to your store, click the Store button from the left panel and then click Manage Store. Click Catalog, then click Products. You can search for products by name or SKU, filter by availability and stock levels, edit or delete individual products, or use the checkboxes to bulk update or delete many items at once. When creating a new product, you can access the tabs at the top of the product page to further customize product details, such as its attributes, unique tax and shipping settings, or to upload additional product images. The general tab of each of your store's products contains basic product information like name, price, weight and description. You can assign a category to the product by clicking the Change Categories button and checking each category you want the product to appear under in your store and then clicking OK. Click the arrow to see additional pricing options. Enter a Compare To price that will be struck out in the product page. When setting a Compare To price, include any taxes or additional fees to ensure that it is a like-for-like -like comparison. Give your customers a discount for buying in bulk. Specify a quantity and the corresponding discounted price. You can add multiple pricing rows to accommodate even larger bulk orders. The availability option is used to set whether or not the item will be visible to customers in your store. Use Stock Control to keep track of your product inventory. Click on Manage and enter the number of that product you have in stock. Keep in mind that if a product has more than one variation, you will need to set stock levels for each independently in the Options tab. You can also enable an option to receive a notification when the stock reaches an indicated level. Click on a product's image to open the image picker, where you can search for built-in images to use or upload your own. Click on Manage Images to delete, rename, and organize the images already on your site. The Attributes tab lets you add unique product codes or barcode numbers and brand names for store products. The Options tab is used to create the different options available for your products, like different sizes or colors. Each option has four components, its name, the input type, whether or not it is required, and the selections themselves. Click the Add New Option button and enter a name like Color. The input type determines how the customer will choose from the options available, and you will usually want to use drop-down list. You can use the Require Customer Selection checkbox to ensure that your customers are ordering exactly the item that they want. If this option is not selected, they may accidentally order the default option rather than what they wanted. Next, click the Add New Selection button, enter a name, and repeat for each selection you would like customers to see. You can also change the price based on the customer's selection. For example, if you've set material as a selection, leather may be more expensive than cotton. Next to leather, select Increase Price. Choose the percent icon Increase to increase the price for an option by a percentage like 10%, or choose the pound to increase the cost by a flat rate. You can add multiple options to each product. Just click Add New Option to continue adding options. After configuring options for a product, you can set specific options as a variation. For example, if your store is selling a backpack, you can set options for its material and its color, and create a green leather variation of the backpack, which appears as a separate item in your store. To create a new variation, click the Variations tab, and then select New Variation. Use the drop-down menus to select from the options set previously, and optionally set a new price, SKU and weight. Once finished, click OK and your new variation will appear in the table. Click the Gallery tab to add additional secondary images to this product. Use the Upload Images button to add additional images to the product. If you are selling digital products such as ebooks, MP3s or digital prints, you can upload the files here to be delivered after purchase. Digital products can have a maximum file size of 100 megabytes. The Tax and Shipping tab is used to set the weight and dimensions of the product, which is used to calculate shipping costs during checkout. Optionally, you can override the global store shipping settings if this product has specific shipping requirements that are different. The SEO tab is used to optimize each product for search engines. Use the page title and meta description editor to customize how the product will look in search results. It's important to take the time to create good keywords and content to ensure that your products are seen by customers in search engine results pages. 
Use the Related Products tab to choose which products to promote at the bottom of the product page. Use the Display Random Products option to show customers random products from your categories. Finally, click Save.